So I recently got myself a new mini PC and I find myself having to reinstall a lot of software, Fire Capture being one of them. So I thought I'd document my process and show you how I use both a ZWO and a QHY camera with Fire Capture on the same machine. I use my ZWO ASI 533MC Pro for planetary imaging, such as this Jupiter and Saturn shots. And I use my little QHY 53178M mini guide cam for solar imaging. And if you're using a Windows machine like I am, you need to install some extra drivers if you don't already have them. So let's get to the screen. We'll download Fire Capture, download the drivers and install them and see these cameras work in action. So I'm on my mini PC and I'm going to start up Firefox and head to firecapture.de. The link is also in the description below. So now we'll go down to the download section and we'll download version 2.7.14 for Windows which was released on March 2022, so it's a couple years old. When you click on download, you get a quick verification question. So you put in the answer and click download. And it downloads a zip file pretty quickly. And then once you locate or move your zip file to where you want it, right click and click on extract all, or you can use your favorite extractor like 7-zip. And once that's extracted, we'll go into the new folder that was created and go in one more time. And then we'll see firecapture.exe at the bottom here and then we'll double click it. And we'll click okay on the welcome message since it's my first time on this PC. I'll click on first time and click next. And make sure the home directory settings is checked. And I'll update my heap size to about eight gigs. I know I put in the wrong byte count here. Whoops. Click next. I'll change my root directory to the pictures directory. Kind of boring, I know but I wanna make sure that all three of these checkboxes are selected, especially the WinJupo's file naming because it'll come in handy in the future. And then I'll click next. So there are already a bunch of profiles set by default. These are very helpful when we do our imaging. You can edit these later and I'm gonna skip them for now and I'll click next. Same goes for the filters here. So you can edit these later and then I'll click next. And then we have the vertical toolbars. This is what will be on the left side of the interface. And I'll leave it alone for now. And then I'll click next. And then we'll go to the horizontal toolbar that appears on top of the UI. And I like adding the start, stop, and pause capture options for myself, but you don't have to, but just go through these, see what you like, and then click next. And then I'll click on finish. And it says, please restart fire capture. Great, I have my camera connected. I'll double click fire capture. And I get all of these camera options here. So I'll click on ZWO and I get this message because it says the selected camera could not be started. So we'll need to get the driver installed. So we'll click OK to close this, click on exit, and then I'll open up Firefox and then I can Google for ZWO driver download. The first option used to be the link, but it throws a 404 now because they moved the page without setting up a redirect. So we'll click on software and when that page loads, can be a little bit slow. We see four downloads below. We see the camera driver, ASCOM driver, uh, firmware update, and ASI studio. And we don't need anything else besides the driver. So I'll click on camera driver and download that and run it once it's done. So I click yes to allow the install, then I hit next. And I'll install it in the default directory and click install. Click install one more time don't need to visit their website and then I'll click finish. So let's run Fire Capture again while my camera is still connected. And you can already see that it's working and here you can see on the top left here that it has detected my ASI 3 mc Pro camera, which is great. And then I'll click uh, OK to close the little info panel up here. And then I'll take off the cover of my camera and you can see that the UI does respond. So great, it's working. So I'll close that up and then I'll reconnect my QHY camera and try running that. So click on Start Fire Capture. And now I'll click on QHY and it can detect a camera. We get a similar issue. So we need to download the QHY camera driver to make sure that works. So we'll go back to Firefox and then we'll Google QHY camera driver download and it's the first link. From my experience, the all-in-one pack is the only link that works for me. Uh, there's a compatibility list below 
and my camera is listed there uh, is the QHR53 178MC. So I'll go up here, I'll click on the stable version download. The download from the QHR website is very slow, but once you have it downloaded, right, so you double click that, let it run, and then click yes to make let Windows run it, and then we'll click next. And then next one more time on the notice, we'll install in the default directory and click next. And all we want are the drivers. So I don't think there's anything else here that I want to install at the moment, like SharpCap and Nina. I will do those later on. So once we're satisfied, we'll click next twice and run it. And then it asks us to disconnect the QHY camera, which I will do. And then I'll click next, install it in the default location in the drivers list. And then the only driver I need here is a QHY 5.3 driver, but I'll uncheck everything except for the QHY 5.3 and the 5.2, just in case. Uh, and then I will click on next and then click on install and then install one more time for Windows security and then click on finish. I don't need to see the open SDK folder or the all ASCOM platform drivers. So I'll uncheck those and click finish. And now it will run fire capture one more time. And with any luck, it'll run the software with the camera. So it's running and I can already see that it detected my camera. And up here we can see QHRI 53178M. Awesome. Now I'll take the cover off just to show you that it is working. We see a white screen but I'll adjust the exposure and gain and now it looks proper. So now we have both our ZWO and QHY cameras running on this one machine here. So I can take them off, put them in, run fire capture, and I am good to go. And the last thing I'll show you on the screen here is, so you don't have to keep coming back to this folder here. You can right click on firecapture.exe, you can either pin to start, or you can do right click, click on show more options, and then pin to taskbar, and then it'll show up here. So now I can click on this and it'll start fire capture. I hope that was fairly easy to follow. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. Since this is just a how to install fire capture video, I didn't want to deep dive into the different features of fire capture. You can check out this video that I made late last year where I show my complete step-by-step -step capture and processing steps of the Hydrogen Alpha Sun. A big chunk of it is dedicated to fire capture and I plan on making a, a dedicated video on fire capture and planetary imaging later on this year. And it's been a couple of years since I've used SharpCab, but I recently repurchased a license for it. And I'll show the exact same steps here as I showed in FireCapture and how to get, get this running on SharpCap as well. I plan on having multiple sessions running for the upcoming solar eclipse. So I want to run both FireCapture and SharpCap and I'll also be testing both of those software before the April 8th eclipse to make sure that I know exactly what I'm doing, what my plan is uh, when the date comes. I also really want to test out the SharpCap live stacking feature that was introduced just a few months ago. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in our next astronomy adventure. Clear skies.